RC Davis here with Do It All Guard out of San Leandro and Oakland, California, Jared Cunningham. Are you ready for all this? I'm definitely ready. You know, it was a lifelong dream to become a professional athlete and play in the NBA, and uh, you know, I'm taking it by day and getting prepared. You're repping Oakland, repping Oregon State. You got a lot of people following you. You played AAU ball here for the Soldiers. When I say are you ready for this, I just mean there's a lot that goes along with it just than how to defend the pick and roll. Right. It's, it's a lot to go, go along with this. You know, it's a, you know, it's a great organization. And, uh, you know, I, you know if, they, if I'm lucky enough for them to pick me, you know, I'm coming in with hard work every day and great effort. Uh, your nickname is Flight? <laughs> yeah. How long have you had that nickname? I had it since my freshman year in college. Uh, I got it by just coming in as a freshman. You know, nobody really knew me. Just going out and just playing my heart and dunking on everybody. When I was doing research for these workouts today, it didn't take me very long to see uh, a lot of your highlights. Is that pretty cool to just be able to be a part of the YouTube generation? Yeah, definitely. You know, YouTube is, you know, gaining, you know, a lot of interest every day. And, uh, you know, for me to have a couple of videos in there and people recognize some of the things I can do, you know, it's great to see that. Uh, you've drawn comparisons to Gary Payton, another guy from Oakland. Do you embrace that? I mean, that's quite an honor. Yeah, it's a, it's a big honor. You know, I talked to Gary a couple of times and, uh, you know, I think our game is it's kind of similar, but not at the same time. You know, he was a, you know, more of a pressure guard and, and liked to talk a lot. And, you know, I, I can talk, but, you know, that's really not my game. You know, I just go out and just play hard and just leave it all on the court. You'd have to be quite a talker to live up to uh, GP <laughs> oh, type man. trash talk. <laughs> right. But he's also a beaver, so you have that connection too. Definitely. You know, he's one of the greatest beavers to come through uh, Oregon State. And, uh, you know, hopefully I left my imprint on our organization, our program, and, uh, you know, from here on out, you know, it's beavers to the end. Your coach at Corvallis, Craig Robinson, the president's brother-in-law. Uh, what kind of influence did he have on you? Uh, he had a great influence. You know, my past three years at Oregon State, you know, has been great. He was a great mentor and great coach. He taught me a lot. And, you know, he just taught me just to come out every day and, and treat this like, uh, you know, it's your job and just go hard and never, never leave anything out there. You're leaving school early. I watched some of the press conference. He's really proud of you. Yeah, he backed me up 100% on my commitment to leave Oregon State and pursue my professional career. And, uh, you know, he's, in the past three years, he's been a great coach and a great person to talk to. When your college career started, again, I mentioned, you know, you're a combo guard. Probably play a lot of one at the next level. Is handling the ball and kind of setting up the offense something you need to work on? Uh, I feel I need to work on a lot of things in my game. Um, you know, as far as the point guard, I, I played that early on in my career at Oregon State. And uh, later on, the personnel changed, so I had to move to the two guard. But, you know, with the experience from the one and the two, I feel I can be a, a great combo guard and, and be a backup or, or a starter. I mean, whatever a team needs for me to do, I think I can do it at the one or two. One of your strengths is your playmaking ability. Did Coach Robinson stress anything to you over the last three years on this is what's going to help you get to the next level? Yeah, I think each year I develop into a better playmaker and uh, getting my teammates involved, and uh, whether it was in the pick and roll or in transition. And, uh, you know, just getting to the free throw line is something that, uh, that I'm good at, and, you know, that's, that's what helped me you know, prolong my uh, points and getting points in, the, uh, in my college career. So here you are in Oakland, you're starting your draft workout process. I'm sure you've got a couple more cities along the way. How do you not get distracted? Because I'm sure your family knows your home. I'm sure your boys know your home. How do you stay focused? Uh, you just got to tune all that out. You know, you're here for one thing and only. It's just it's to show what you can do on the court and impress the, you know, the, the front office. And you know, that's what I'm here for. And each, each road trip I take, you know, that's what I need to do. A lot of people like sneakers. I hear you have a ridiculous shoe collection. Yeah, I, I'm a shoe freak, uh, you know, from Nikes to Jordans to Adidas to anything. You know, I like to wear shoes and, uh, you know, I like to get them. What are the freshest sneakers you've ever seen? The freshest sneakers I've ever seen was the Marty McFly's by Nike. Shoes! I need shoes! Four hours on a single charge. Does this power lace? They're around $6,000. I haven't got that yet, but you know, I hopefully one day I can grab a pair of those. Where are you off to next? Uh, my next I'll be in LA just to work out for a couple of days and then I'm off to Miami. All right, well, good luck, man. Thanks for coming on Warriors.com. Appreciate it. Thank you.